Hi, this is Lubov Azrier, and this is Fashion Files magazine. So now you're going to be seeing pre-fall, mm -hmm. which is my, which is a runway line, mm -hmm. and um, the inspiration behind it is modern gypsy. But I like things that just move. And, you know, one of the collections you're going to see, you know, I wanted to make sure that the girls are moving as well, so they're going to be walking back and forth, because I think there's nothing more beautiful than a woman walking by and it just takes your breath away. It's not so much when she's standing, it's when she's walking, but when she walks away, the back details or just the curves, it's just fantastic. I think any woman that has confidence and loves dressing up, you have to dress based on your body shape and you have to stop hiding behind clothes and show who you truly are, a beautiful woman. There's a story that I tell people, there's a truly a DNA behind BCBG Max Azure brand. And the DNA is that, it's, it's actually started a while ago, but uh, when I was 18 years old, the first came from Ukraine, and uh, we moved to San Antonio, Texas, and then my parents moved to Los Angeles. And when I was 18 years old, um, I wasn't sure what I wanted to do. I wanted to be in arts, but I also loved fashion very much. And so one day, um, I was walking down the Wilshire Boulevard, and um, you know, I stopped in front of the window, even Martha's window, and there was this gorgeous dress in the window, and I was just obsessed over it. And I decided I'm going to take all the courage and just go into the store because I've never been to an expensive store like that. I mean, maybe Foley's in San Antonio, but never even Martha. So anyway, I happened to, I walked in, asked where the dress was, walked to the second floor, it happened to be available. I went to my dressing room, to the dressing room, tried the dress on, and it was perfect. It was the most beautiful thing I have ever tried on. And then I looked at the price tag, and it was $3,000. And at that moment, looking at myself, this incredible pain hit me. And the pain was that I'm not good enough, that something is wrong with me, that I don't deserve it, that people like me don't wear dresses like this. And all this pain started flooding through my, basically every part of my body. And I looked at myself in the mirror and I said, if I ever become a designer, I will never make clothes for that expensive. Mm -hmm. I will never ever make a woman feel that way. And that's been the DNA behind this future brand. The magic <laughs> happens much later on, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? What you're doing right now is you're building the base. I mean, when we do anything in fashion, you know, it has to be the right moment. You know what I'm saying? Things don't, if you plan things, they age really fast. Don't forget that not only we're working at the same time on spring, we're working on fall because mm -hmm. spring presentation is September, fall is in February, and really between that Time, you have December that half of the month is done mm -hmm. and then you have so many deadlines in between so we have to kind of plan for both and to tell you the truth when magic happens it is so incredible and so powerful and we work towards that so I love the idea of movement and texture and color mm -hmm. and just being romantic right now I know what's coming over everybody's doing like very tight and I think tight is great I think movement is great, especially for a woman. For BCPG, especially runway, I think it's about all being a woman. I think that being European, you have a very different perspective on fashion than being in America, you know. But I think everything comes from within. Mm -hmm. I, I can't tell you, there's, I mean, a lot of my designers that I work with are Americans and they have even sharper taste level than I do, you know. So I think it, it's all your innate mm -hmm. kind of sensibility and I that I have a chance to design and that people like the clothes and that we've been successful for the last 20 years. You know, to me, obviously, she loves life, which is great. She loves to go out, which is fantastic, you know, and uh, she's a very hard worker. It's extremely important. We have four stores here, and, you know, one of the reasons why we are here is because we really want to connect with the customer and with the press and with all the socialites and people who are important in Chicago. I think for us it's very important to understand their needs, their wants, to understand you know, what their life is like. 